Hi all, uh, this is Nala. Last time you saw Leah, this is my other dog. Um, today we're going to talk about walking at night when it's dark. Um, and what I'll show you is something called a tactical torch. Um, some of you may have already heard of it, or see it, some of you may have already got it. Um, it's like this basically, um, it's very small, fits in your hand quite easy, that's the sort of size of it. When you're holding it, put the handle into your palm, wrap your fingers around, thumb onto the power button, so you can easily put it on, off, and also you can use it as a, a, a weapon, you know, yeah? Um, if you're using it to strike, to get away. Okay, so let's quickly talk about this. Um, it, the material is made out of aluminium, very strong. Um, I'm not going to give any names, there's plenty of products out there, there are variations, you can just type in Tactical Torch and, and you can decide for yourself which one's best for you if you're going to use it. Um, the edges, so if you look at the front of it, it's perforated, so it's not circle, it's a metal bit. Um, it's circle, so it's it's perforated, um, as you can see, and this is what's really good um, as a self-defense tool. Um, the power of it is very strong, um, it's luminal. Um, the power of it, the lens is very strong, um, it's very bright, so again, if you if you approach by someone, you can put it towards their face um, and, and it can temporarily stop their vision. Um, so this is another one. All right. The other part of this torch is that in its fixed position, if you put it on like that, um, this will highlight and light up the immediate area. However, if you're walking around and you've got like alleyways or parks and there's bushes around and trees, you can extend that. So just simply pull it out and then this will now have an extended vision where you can see quite a fair distance in the dark and you can see through trees and bushes if there are um, not many leaves on there. So it's quite a good tool, it's versatile. Um, so you just push it in. So this is your fixed position of the immediate area. This is the position when you pull it out of a long distance. Okay, so when you're using this tool, come here, good girl, come here, um, so when you use this tool, so I'm, I'm holding the lead, um, someone tries to grab the lead, I hold it in my position like this. Uh, back of the hand there's bones and fingers there's the bones, they're, they're very um, fragile, they're not very strong. And with this part here, if someone grabs your lead and trying to pull your dog away, you can strike the back of the hand or the fingers and it will create some damage immediately um, just for you to get away. Um, the only thing I'll just say is that just use it obviously just to do what you need to do to get the person's hand off there and get away. That's the whole aim. Um, don't hang around in the area for any longer than you need to. I know emotions may be high, just get away. That's the aim. Um, yep, so any, any questions, let me know on Facebook. Message me like you've been doing. Um, if you want to see anything particular that I can try and help you with, I'll try. Um, or on the YouTube channel, um, you can throw off a message. Um, but next, next video I'll be talking about the law in regards to self-defense. So um, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, um, get people who you think may benefit from this. Let's keep our dogs safe. Thank you.